Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. We're here at the XPRIZE booth and we're checking out Simon Saba's car. And Simon is the CEO of Saba Motors and this car is called the Carbon Zero. So tell us a little bit about what's going on with the car. So Carbon Zero is a all electric plug-in, uh, plug-in uh, plug electric uh, vehicle. It's a high performance roadster designed to give you performance comparable to a lot of the sports cars that are out there, uh, but uh, at an affordable price. Uh, typically today what you see in the market is very high-end electric cars like the Tesla. They do a great job, but they're very expensive mm -hmm. at $120,000. So it's not affordable for the average person. You also have some of the low-end ones with very limited range and very poor performance. You know, it takes 20 plus seconds to get to 60 miles an hour. And what we want to do is fill that middle range between those two extremes uh, with an affordable, um, high-performance uh, high electric roadster. Okay, but what type of mile per gallon equivalent could you do you think we would get as a as a daily driver type of uh, usage? Yeah, so typically uh, this car drives approximately 120 miles to 140 mile range. Okay, and uh, using approximately 20 kilowatts uh, of energy. So approximate uh, that translates to roughly, I'd say about 200 miles per gallon. That's exciting. Yeah. Well, let's go take a look at the dashboard. Maybe you can show us some of the electronics about sure. what makes this baby go. Sounds good. So show me what we, what we what do we have here in the car. So what we have here, because it's an electric car, you need a lot more information for the driver uh, to have access of, of the battery, the battery pack, how the state of charge, uh, the temperature of the uh, battery pack, all the safety precautions that you normally have in a regular car, except that rather than just be a dumb light where it's you know high temp or low temp, we actually can give the exact specific number. And uh, this is an instrument panel that was put together by Jewel Systems. Uh, the founder is a personal friend of mine uh, who is doing this uh, development for this particular vehicle, but it's intended to be very universal to be applied uh, to practically any other car mm -hmm. uh, in the future. But the first reincarnation of it is, is done specifically for this car. Okay. So what do we have, uh, so that we've got a really inter interesting instrument cluster down here, uh, and how is this read? Are there a cluster of sensors that are all over the car that feed this information up Ab here? Absolutely. So there's, a, you know, right now we've got it running in simulation mode because, you know, we're standing still at the show. Okay. Uh, but it has uh, sensors that will go to the battery, to the battery management system, uh, to the, uh, to the um, uh, motor controller itself, and reads all the data in real time on every single battery cell and gives the collective uh, uh, battery power for the entire uh, battery pack. So you can look at the granular level, or you can look at the more, um, you know, top level uh, in terms of the how the um, the energy pack is doing. What do we have up here, right behind the steering wheel? Uh, so behind the steering wheel is, is a basic speedometer with uh, just turn signals and. And, and uh, the light signals and so on. So looks like there's simple. a little LED readout too. Do you get any text up there? Uh, no, no text. Okay. In that. You know, uh, we we've got the two panels, and we'll have the warning signals coming off the uh, the second panel. Okay. Great. Well, thanks a lot for the tour. Thank you so much.